you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala Lures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life, Arctic Cat ATVs, share our passion, and supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. This week on Midwest Outdoors, a day in the life of a guide at Woodland Resort, ladies' night at the shooting range, and fish cleaning tips and tricks. It all starts right here, right now. Each year, the upper Midwest undergoes a metamorphosis. Boats go into storage and ice shacks come out. Nets are replaced with augers. Fishing rods become shorter. Guides and resorts become suddenly very, very busy. At Woodland Resort in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, every day is a flurry of activity. It's always crazy here at Woodland in the morning. This is uh, go time. This is when everyone's here to get out fishing. We gotta get licenses, we gotta get bait, we gotta get them rigged up, show them what they're biting on, and, and try to get them rolling, you know, pronto. Hey boys, how you doing? I'm Jeff from Woodland Resort. I'll be taking you out to your fish house here in a little bit. What we're using is small forage minnows up to a buckshot. Now, keep everything simple, keep it small, keep it close to the bottom. If you have a hummingbird or a vexar or a markham or anything, make sure you watch the bottom on that very closely. Then you guys should do good today. So once you make your selection up here and get you out to your fish house, and we'll have a great day, huh? Um, we'll have uh, Brent Jensen, uh, number 17, on deck next, boys. Yo. So, buck shots, you got your Vexlars, the whole ball of wax, you're wearing the right hat, so it's all good to go. <laughs> out we go. All right, so we've got everybody out here. We're just waiting for this group right here to show up. So when they show up, I'll give you a call on the radio, and we'll be all good, but we got everybody out good this morning, so we'll do a round of checks about 10 o'clock and make sure everybody's doing pretty good. All right, boys, here we are. Hop inside and I'll give you a little tour. All right, boys, here we are. Nice heated house, everything's ready to go for you. Now, uh, we're in about 46 feet of water here. The perch have been pretty active. So just use everything I told you in the bait shop, small forage minnow, wax worms with minnow heads, small buck shots, and don't forget a gold hook under a bobber works great too. All right, we got these guys set up. We're gonna check on them in just a couple of hours and see how they're doing. Hey boys, how we doing this morning? Not too bad. You guys warm enough? Oh yeah. All right, are you seeing fish on your Vex wires? Oh yeah, I've been marking fish all morning. All right, marking them all morning. Oh, I got a couple in the bucket, that's cool. How was your day yesterday here out of one of the Woodland Resort rental houses? Real good. Yeah? yeah. You guys had a good time? Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Some nice perch and a bunch of walleyes. I heard some rumors you guys got a couple big fatty perch yesterday. Oh yeah. That a boy, that's what we need here. That's what we came for. All right, well, good, good. We'll check on you guys a little bit later on and we'll see how everything is going, but keep hard at it, okay? All right, All right. Yep, we'll see you guys later. Right. Hey, Coley, I just checked on these guys a little slow. I tried to help them out. I told them the downsize deal, everything. Why don't you go over to 28, see how they're doing. Um, make sure they're fishing with small stuff, no big stuff. Waxies has been the trick in the other houses I just checked. So definitely check on them right now. Right on. Okay, we'll see you later. So that's what we try to do at Woodland Resort. It's a semi-guided kind of a outing. When you guys come here, we make sure you guys go home with plenty of fish. Gonna stop in here at old number six and see how the boys from Wisconsin are doing here real quick. One of our many checks we do throughout the day. We try to check people between three and five times a day. Depends upon the fishing. Hey boys, how we doing? Hey, we're having a good, good. time, man. Good time, that's what we like to hear. You been picking up some fish? Perch oh, look at that. Some nice walleyes, a couple perch. Yeah. Some nice perch in the bottom of that. Yeah. Excellent. Sounds good. You guys have been here a little over an hour. The sun's came out today. And remember, the sun can play a big factor in how the perch bite here. But if it's a cloudy day, don't forget the walleyes like to hit more. Sunny day, perch. They have a little bit of both. We started off cloudy. Now the sun's out. Can't wait to see what the next hour is going to bring. That's a lot of ice. We had a house here about a month ago, and I'm coming back in here to check. It's right off a really nice point that goes off into about 50 foot of water. I want to see if the fish are back here. 
All of our trucks out of Woodland Resort are basically a scout slash maintenance vehicle. We try to keep all the roads plowed during and after big blows and snows. We're all mounted up with these nice Vexlar units so we can see exactly what's going on. Um, as a matter of fact, if you look now, I have a whole school of fish that probably perched that just came up on here, and that's what we're looking for. We never leave any houses sit in slow areas. We're always constantly moving them, making sure that when you come here through Woodland Resort, through the rental packages, that you have a great time. Well, this worked out pretty good. I dropped down, he rifled up. He doesn't seem too massively big here, but it's still a good sign that there's fish here. There you go. Well, it's not an absolute monster, but it shows me that the fish are here and they're eating. So we're gonna give it a couple more minutes now that I've caught one and see what we can get. All right, well, this'll work. Feels like a little better one here. Oh, look at that. Again, we're in, our, we're in the perch spot and here we are catching walleyes. But did you see what he just did? You can tell they're eating. That's all freshwater shrimp down there. So, but this is a good indication that there's fish here. We just caught a, a small perch. We've caught a eater-sized walleye. So we're gonna keep fishing here just a little bit longer to see what happens. Oh, all right, now there's what we're looking for. This spot's starting to look up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is just a beauty, beauty. Boy, these are some dandy, look at that. What I wanted to do was mix it up. We were catching them on the jig and wrap number two. So now I went to my favorite lure, the buckshot and he rifled right up and grabbed that thing. So now that tells me a couple things. They're just not lure Pacific. All right, boy, this is getting good. Tell you what, 10 minutes of fit. Oh, look at that now. This is quite a spot. You jig once, they come right up off the bottom. You don't move the rod at all, and they just rifle it. Oh, there's another one. Here he comes. Oh, it's a walleye, look at that. Yeah, this isn't a world record whopper walleye. It's a good eating walleye, but it's, here's what it's telling me. Even though it's a smaller walleye, the big perch and the walleyes are hanging together. I've caught enough fish here in a very short amount of time. Both species are present. I need to get a house here. I'd like to thank you guys and gals for watching today. You got a bird's eye view of what it's like to be an ice guide out on Devil's Lake. If you'd like to see us in person or go through one of our rental packages, take a look online, woodlandresort.com. I'm Jeff Katzer from Midwest Outdoors. We'll be back after this. The new extreme thermal shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermaltop XT650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All extreme thermal shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all new extreme thermal shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Hi, my name is Jessica Nyberg, and I'm an instructor here at Bill's Gun Shop and Range in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. We have two other locations for your convenience, one in Circle Pines, Minnesota, and the other one in Hudson, Wisconsin. We are talking today on Midwest Outdoors for all you gals watching out there that are interested in the shooting sports industry. We're going to give you some tips and things on how to get into the industry and what exactly it is you're looking to do. Here at Bill's Gun Shop and Range, we pride ourselves on smaller class sizes so we can give you more personal instruction. After you've passed your basic courses, we also do provide one-on-one -on -one instructors, lady-friendly classes, and we also have ladies' nights every Wednesday at all of our locations. 
One of the things that I found as an instructor is the common misconception for female shooters is that they need the tiniest, smallest, cutest gun. To me, that is completely incorrect. Smaller guns yes. tend to have more recoil. As an instructor, what I like to do for a female first-time shooter is I like to get a real gun in their hands so they can get a feel for what the gun is like. I like to make sure that they can maneuver the slide and that the weight and everything is perfect for them. At Bill's Gun Shop and Range, we have well over 150 guns that you can rent. All you have to do is buy the ammo and you can go down range and shoot as long as you'd want. You get to try it before you buy it. Every Wednesday night is ladies night at Bill's Gun Shop and Range. At our Hudson location, we have Emily. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm the ladies night instructor out at the Hudson location. Come out and see us on Wednesday nights and we'll see you on the range. So now let's go check in with Shalane at our Circle Pines location and see what ladies night is all about. I am a firearms enthusiast and I have been for over 30 years. I'm also a firearms instructor for Bill's Gun Shop and Range. One of the key elements is picking out the target you want to shoot and our silhouette target is the number one target that we sell here. I have all beginners start with this target so they can see their shots simply. And now I'd like to share with you a couple of handgun shooting tips that we would show all of our customers here at Bill's Gun Shop and Range. Our green silhouette is a great target to learn beginning shooting, also self-defense. What we are gonna do is we're gonna send it out five yards out or 15 feet. A couple of the top shooting tips that you really need to know is First of all, what is your dominant eye? You need to know if you're right eye or left eye dominant because when you pick up your pistol and you're looking at your sights, you need to know which eye to look out of. At this point, what you want to do, you're going to hold up the sights up to your dominant eye. If you're right eye dominant, you're going to look down the sights so that you see the front sight right in between the rear sights so that it's perfectly straight across. That way you can close your left eye, look down your right, center the bullseye, and then the second key element is trigger squeeze. You wanna place that trigger finger because you have your target in sight, just about an eighth of an inch from the first crack in your finger, just about the lower part of that pad so you can squeeze the trigger back. Come visit us at Bill's Gun Shop. We have experts here to help everybody's shooting type. And ladies, come visit us on Ladies Night every Wednesday at all three shops. For more information, check out our website. I'm Shalane Kriegel, and we'll see you at the range. hottest bait under the ice, hammered slender spoons from Custom Jigs and Spins. On the plains of North Dakota awaits a frozen paradise and the only destination for ice anglers, Devil's Lake. Whether you like the challenge of walleye, the endless action of perch, or you just want to chase flags all day, Devil's Lake, North Dakota is the only choice. With 220,000 acres to explore, over 600 rooms available, and over 240 retailers in town, you are sure to find what you are looking for in Devil's Lake. I want this one and this one and this one and this no, one. No, sweetie, you just get one. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. You know, Poppy, you only get one. Custom Jigs and Spins Slender Spoons. Now with sweet new colors. You're going to want them all. Hi, I'm Ted Takasaki, Midwest Outdoors, and I've got my good buddy here, Perry Parks. Perry has been cleaning and guiding for over 40 years, and so we're gonna show you some tips on how to clean fish. So the first thing I do is I always wear a protective glove when I'm cleaning fish. It protects you from the knife, and it also gives you a good firm grip on the fish. So I lay the fish out, 
take my thumb and I go underneath the gill plate. Now one thing, one of the first secret is a lot of guys try to cut straight through the fish, through the scales. Well, that'll dull your knife real fast. The secret is to lay the fillet knife at an angle and come under the scales and make your cut. Then we slit through the belly. Then we come back up and place the tip of your knife in the front of the fish. Now angles are the secret. If you can see, I start forward like this and I come through the fillet. And when I reach the pectoral fin, it's all in my wrist. See how I just turn my wrist this way and it slides over the fin and through the fish. And there's your fillet. I flip the fish over, I put my forefinger in the gill plate, I come up underneath these two fins, and same thing, come at an angle under the scales. Now, again, on your wrist is the secret. I, I start back, you come through the fish, and when I reach that fin, again, I just turn my wrist and see how it flops over that fin, and then just pull through. Fillet is complete. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how to clean bluegill. So on the bluegill, the rib cage is a lot thicker, so I prefer using an electric knife. Again, I approach the fish the same way. I take my thumb and place it underneath the gill plate. And even with an electric knife, you still want to come in at an angle underneath the scales. So I lay the knife at an angle, and I come through. Then I, same way, you come up and put the tip of the knife right up front here. And again, it's in my wrist angle. I come forward. And when I hit this fin, I turn my wrist and I come through the fish. As you can see, you get a nice fly. I flip it over, take my forefinger underneath the gill plate, come up underneath the fins, come at an angle, down to the, and you always want to get up to the head and get that meat as far up as you can. Then I take my knife, turn it, and I run through. Then I pick up and it comes off the fly. And you can see you have two really nice flies. Well, those are some awesome tips on how to get the flay off the fish, but we're still dealing with the rib bones and the skin. How do you deal with that? So let me introduce you to the skin zit. This is a device we developed to remove the rib bones and skins from a fish fly. This is the clamping mechanism here that clamps up against the roller. This lever here clamps that up. Now, this looks like it could be dangerous, but nothing is sharp here at all. As you can see, this is the throttle, and I start it. There's nothing sharp. You can put your hands on it, and it won't operate until the clamping mechanism is closed. You can see it open, and I hit the throttle, and it won't move. If I clamp, hit the throttle, now I have motion. Now, in using this, you just clamp it shut, hit your throttle, and move in. And it picks the rib bones right out, as you can see. And you flip the fly over, lay the machine flat on the table, again, clamp your lever, hit your throttle, and just slide in. I stop at this point, reach underneath, and just pull the fish off. And there's your fly. Now look at that. There's not one ounce of meat left on that skin. Well, once you're done cleaning your fish, you just reach up, unplug your unit, face it towards you. As you can see here on the side, there's a little flip out latch. Flip it out at you. You give it a half a turn and you pull the shaft out, which is removes your wheel. Then you just take it under the faucet, rinse it off, and the wheel is pinned, so it only go in one way. So then you just slide your wheel back in and put your pin back through. And then it locks into place. But there's one more step, right, Perry? There is, Ted. As you know, there's a lateral bone that's left in these flays on crappie, bluegill, perch, walleyes. That lateral bone needs to be removed. You can see where we remove the rib bone from the flay. If you take your finger, you can feel this little line of bones. It's a real simple procedure. You just start and make one cut straight down, come on the other side of the bone, and make another cut. As you can see, that's that little line of bones. We remove that, and now you can see you have a totally boneless fly. We told our friends Eric and Johnny that there's going to be a fish fry, but they got to do a little bit of work. Let's get busy and really put a lick into these fish. Oh, 
Oh, man, am I too late there, Perry? No, it looks like he got normal good timing, Teddy, like you uh, always do. You betcha. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you know, that Skinza made some perfect plays. How do the folks get the you know, more information on the Skinza? I'll tell you, you just go to our website at fishskinner.com. This is Ted Takasaki and Perry Parks with Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back. Your family adventure begins with Voyager Houseboats of Crane Lake. Explore Voyager's National Park with all the comforts of home. Voyager Houseboats provide fun for all ages. And now, introducing the brand new Voyager Lodge. Explore 14 new luxurious hotel rooms, as well as the new bar and restaurant. Log on to houseboatvacations.com or call 1-800-88-BOATS. Introducing the new wireless pan cam camera system from Markham Technologies. The groundbreaking interface that allows an angler to wirelessly monitor and control the left right pan of a remote camera from up to 300 feet away. The Markham pan cam system transmits a live video stream via Wi Fi back to your Apple or Android device, and the free Markham app is even capable of connecting to multiple cameras at the same time for multi camera on ice coverage. This winter, take full control of your underwater camera with Markham Technologies wireless pan cam camera system. For you serious shooters with a precision rifle that enjoy shooting the tiniest group possible at stationary targets, consider the Weaver T36 series scope. It's a fixed power scope, it's not a variable. It has a very fine crosshair with an 1 8 minute dot, so it only takes up 1 8 of an inch at 100 yards. This allows you to place your shots as precisely as possible. It's a very simple scope, it's very robust. The adjustments are absolutely crisp and positive. You can find this Weaver T36 scope at opticsplanet.com. That's your Midwest Outdoors tip of the week. I'm Steve Ledden, thanks for watching. When, you, when you're drilling holes late season, you know, the eight inch bit is your most popular bit, but in late season, the ice is thicker. It's harder to drill through sometimes when you have slush. And panfish is usually the only season open. What I do is switch to a six inch bit. It drills twice as fast as an eight, you don't have to clean out the hole as much and there's no reason to over drill. So a six inch bit for late season fishing will keep you drilling faster and more efficient and it'll put more fish on the ice. I'm Brad Hawthorne and that's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Ready for a hard water adventure? Come see what over a hundred years of fishing at Arneson's has to offer. Venture onto Lake of the Woods aboard one of Arneson's state of the art track vans. Fish walleye, sauger, northern pike and jumbo perch. Experienced winter guides move fish houses to keep you on the fish. Spend a night on the ice or in one of our fully equipped cabins. Enjoy first class service at the Rock Harbor Lodge and full service bar. Visit Arnesons.com and begin your Lake of the Woods adventure. Great for ice fishing or any season. The first strike bite indicator allows you to clearly see when a fish strike occurs. The first strike bite indicator easily clips onto any fishing rod allowing you to use your own rod like a tip up. A lighted version increases your visual range for greater hole separation and evening fishing. Also great for bank fishing and dock fishing. Increase your range and catch more fish this ice season or any season with the First Strike Bite Indicator. To order, visit FirstStrikeFishing.com. Hi everybody, Al Linder here. Hey look, I really look forward to sharing some things with you about me on the cover, the January issue of Midwest Outdoors. See you then.